Um, hey, what's up? Um, there is this framework called Koa.js. Uh, it's really nice. So I'm going to show you, or at least I'm going to um, create a couple of videos about it. And uh, I, will, I will try to cover the basics and uh, I will do some authentication, authorization stuff. So I will, and I will be using TypeScript and TypeORM. Um, so let's just get started to to start to start this. I will just go inside this directory, which is empty. I will type npm init dash y to create our package to JSON, and this will answer uh, the default answers for each of these questions. Uh, now we can install uh, the dependencies. So Kua and Kua router and I will install the colors just to add colors to the strings I will be outputting to the console and for the div dependencies uh, I will install add types since I'm using uh, TypeScript so add types colors add types Kua add types Kua router and I think, yeah, and then add types node oh, and to compile and run and watch TypeScript, I will install ts node dev, then at the end TypeScript. And just I will add a flag dash d, this means this is a dev development dependencies. Uh, it's a good thing to distinguish between your uh, actual dependencies and your dev dependencies, so it's a good thing. So uh, this is done. Let's open this with VS Code. So if you type code dot, dot means the current directory. So it's not uh, uh, something in VS Code itself. So okay, this is it. So let's create a folder called source. Oops. Can't type. And inside of it, let's create an app to TypeScript. Now let's check if the okay. Also, this if these dependencies have been installed. So yes, go to package.json. So as you can see, these is these are the dev dependencies and these are the dependencies. So let's just start by importing everything from Kua and as Kua, and I made the K as capital uh, letter because uh, in JavaScript. Uh, constructor functions are con uh, by convention are uh, named by capital case so and constructor functions are usually invoked like this so any time you see a function invoked like this just name it as a capital case you don't have to but it's a convention and now import from Kua couple of in a couple of interfaces the default state default uh, context and the parameter parameterized context <laughs> and import star as router capital case from router or from core router now import colors this is the library that will add some colors to strings uh, in the terminal and const port equal 3000 for now the port number and the database connections uh, will be in the .env file in the code itself but in the future, I will put them in the .env file, which you should uh, do if you want to secure your credentials or anything. And don't commit the .env file. You should put it inside the .get, the, in the .get ignore file, so no one can see your credentials. This is how you se we secure things usually. Now, to create our app, we'll just uh, call the constructor function. And this actually have a type, so we are using TypeScript. Let's get, let's use that. The type of it is Kua, and this is also a generic type which accepts the default uh, state, default state, and the default context. Now let's define our router. Type router equal new router. Now let's define the base router. So that get. Which, which this means if you go to localhost then the port this will this function here will be activated which I will make a sync for now and this accepts a, a parameter I will call it context ctx and this is of the type the parameterized context 
So default, uh, it's also a generic type that accepts the default state and default context. And we won't return anything, we will just put inside the body a message equal to hello what. Now, since we defined our router, our app should know about them. So app.use, it's very similar to express. So router.routes, this is a function. And now then also use uh, router.allow all methods, which from the name, it just allows the methods the if you hover over it, the patch and other things. Uh, return separate middleware for responding to options, request with an allow header, responding to this. Oh, maybe I was wrong. Returns a separate middleware for responding to options, request with an allow header containing the allowed methods, as well as the responding, as responding with five, oh, four, uh, 405 method not allowed, uh, and 501 as appropriate. Yeah, okay. okay. We should use it. Uh, now to start our app on a specific port, so app.listen, give it the port, then uh, I will attach an event on listening, and this is one of the cool things about TypeScript, it will help VS Code to auto-complete for us, so this is the events that we can listen on, on our server instance, so I will listen on, I will attach an event on listening event, and I will just console log. I will use the back stack. This is next to the one keyboard uh, key in the your keyboard. So server started on port. I will add, I will add the port here. Go to HTTP localhost port and. This is one of the things that is cool about this color package. It will add some properties to the string prototype, which will change its color. So dot to blue, dot wood, which is very nice. Now to run this, no, it does not understand TypeScript. To make it understand it, we will use the ts node diff, which will run and com which will combine and run and watch our TypeScript files. So to use it, we will uh, need to do something here in the scripts. Since this is not installed globally, it's only installed in the current project in the node module. So we will put here dev. You can put anything here. And this will run the TS node dev from node modules. So to run it, npm run dev and give it a file to run. And we will give it the entry point. So from source, app.ts, so static to compile and just will run it. We should see server started on localhost, like this, and it's bold and uh, blue. So yeah, that's it. This is the message hello world. Uh, I think this is it for uh, starting, as a, for a starting point, and yeah, thank you.